So I bought a doll today at Goodwill. I don't go in there very often anymore because the one in my area, their prices have been really jacked up very high. You can't get out of there for less than two to three dollars for one doll and the package dolls are four to five. Um, there was a My Life doll that if it did not have freckles on the cheeks would have looked just like me. It was like five or six dollars and they used to be like three. So they're pretty high. But I did see this one doll that I got for a dollar because of what has happened to her. Oh, it's, it's bad. It's on her dress too. And I thought that in her eyes, it's everywhere. But she has all her outfit. I think she was some kind of Halloween doll because this looks clownish. But she's so articulated that I knew that even if I didn't, couldn't get this off the face with anything that she would be worth having for the body because look how articulated she is. I could just repaint her face. And, and I got the nail polish out, but then I scratched at it. I realized that was completely liquid. So I have a feeling that this has actually been lip glossed and not painted, which is really good because then it's a lot easier. Acetone um, nail polish will get rid of any nail polish almost, but it will also take off the paint. Non-acetone may get rid of the nail polish, may not. So let's get a good view here to see what happens. Now if they're staining, I do have things for staining. It's coming off the eye really well, but there is a little bit of staining. I want to try to get as much off the face as possible. Because this was at one time a very beautiful Brax doll, which I don't normally like them, but this doll is so pretty. I love the hair color, and it's a Halloween doll. She has more of a substantial nose. And I think for the Halloween colors, she's absolutely gorgeous. So I may have to use a toothpick to get rid of the stuff in her eyes. And I may have to use something here to get rid of that ink stain. But for the most part, most of that dare stuff is coming off, which is great. Because she is going to be one of my new custom YouTube dolls. And you're going to see what she is in a few minutes. Because I'm going to remake her right now. But she, her range of motion is so much better than any brass doll I've ever seen. Like, I absolutely adore this doll. She's so awesome. I wonder if that stain will get off her dress. So, um, the dress I believe is Barbie because it's not fitting her very well anyway. So I took it off, I put on a Bratz top. It's a little tight because she is a little bigger than the normal Bratz. I'm going to cut out a basic pattern for shirt. Um, I believe it's the same pattern that um, I found on My Froggy Stuff for making a doll shirt, except I'm not using Velcro. I'm just going to sew it in a bit, um, in the, sew it in a bit, and then... Uh, make it more of a wrap shirt. I'm just using pen because I'm not sure where I put my chalk. You should use chalk. The pen didn't fit very well, so but it's fine. This is what the top looks like. I'm going to sew in the sides and then flip it around for where the pen mark was not. And then I just wrap a skirt and put a belt with it. I'm going to do more later. Uh, I don't think making shoes is gonna work with this material, so let's table that for now and we'll f figure something out about it with the um, shoes later. Right now I'm going to be making a collar for the shirt. That's going to, um, I'm going to use teal because I don't have light purple to use. 
Um, I, and I want to use a bit of contrast and color even though the OC or icon, icon of the person I'm making this for, I believe it was all purple, the, the last one she used. But this is her OC or icon as a human because her, her, the characters she uses and draws for her OCs and her characters, they usually aren't people. They're anime characters who sort of look like people but aren't. Like, they have a person's face, but then a tail, and ears, and fluffiness going on. That one looks like sunglasses, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to turn that down so I, it will be a proper cute little collar on the dress, because I do want to um, make this dress the way I envisioned it, which was cute. I'm going to make her a necklace which is just a strand of pearls, and I tied that off. And now I'm making your little cat ears. It's just a felt with two um, triangles to it, and, um, sewn to it. You can also use fabric glue for all of this, but then you have drying time. And the fabric glue I have has like a four hour driving, drying time, which is a little obsessive. I mean, it's a little much. So I just decided to sew it. I sewed on a button on the back and put a little hole so that this is removable. It's not attached to the, the doll. This can be removed at any time. And now I'm going to sew the skirt to the top because it was slipping a bit. So now this is not going to be a, a top and a skirt. It's actually going to be a wrap dress. So th that her wrap dress is done. And I wrapped the blue part as a belt. And then I tried this. Put a borrowed fantasy princess's fluffy skirt. It did not look well. It looked terrible on her. And she actually fits pretty well in these Ken sneakers, so that's what I'm going to be using. This OC or icon for a YouTuber, of course, is Coco Mojo AT. You have to remember the AT because that stands for Awesome Tunes. I believe she was the first Coco Mojo, but the other one is now gaining popularity, so she wanted to distinguish herself from the other Coco Mojo. Now, if Coco Mojo wants to use this as her icon, she is free to do so. I will upload these pictures to uh, either her Amino or my Amino, and then she can just take the pictures from there. And um, this is what it looks like outside. I posed it several times in different ways. I do love how her hair has the catness about it already. And um, the ears actually cover up the staining from the lip gloss and her hair. There was just a little bit that wouldn't come out. But I think this doll is super beautiful and I hope you really like it. Coco Mojo AT, also known as Zoe. Um, so Zoe, thank you for being an inspiration and making me a lovely cartoon before. And here is your new character.